as promised, what I'm going to do before I actually show you the answer, right? You know when you look at an answer for a circle geometry question or a probability question, and you're like, but why did they think to do that first? Like, that's a really hard part of the question, and it's sort of disguised by the fact that this is why it's not enough, if you, you can't do a question, it's not enough just to look at the solution and then say, oh, now I know how to do this question. You don't know how to do this question. What you know how to do is understand someone else's solution, right? Which is good, but there's a step before that of well, why do they think to take this path through, okay? That's what I was trying to model for you when I was like, okay, here are my triangles. How do I choose? That kind of thing. That's the important part of this. So for part three, I'm trying to find this blue length, right? You see that? So I've just constructed it in, that's fine. How do I get to this length, okay? Now, you have a look at it. And you think, what information is there on this wonderful large diagram of mine that will help me? Okay. Now, the first thing I can see, like, what's close to CD? What's close to CD? And the answer is, these two sides here, which I know the value of, they're really close. So they're just in a triangle. That's really good. Okay. In fact, these two sides are the only other two sides of the triangle. If I could find out this angle here, this angle here, then all I need is the cosine rule. Do you see that? Right. So what did I just do? I looked at what I needed to find, and I looked at what was closest. Now obviously, you don't always get so lucky. Sometimes you need to go a little further out. Okay. But this is the closest, so I think, okay, I need to find this angle. Well, how do I find this angle? Well, you can see it's right next to this other angle that I was highlighting before. I can find out what any of these angles are. How do I do that? Again, the cosine rule, right? If you've got all three angles, sorry, all three sides in a triangle, you can cosine rule any of those angles. You're fine, okay? So I can find out what this is. That means I can find out what this is, and that will give me CD, okay? Now, one of the nice things about what I just noticed is that if I'm going to use the cosine rule to get to here, and I'm going to use the cosine rule to find this, I can use, I can just find out what cos of those angles are, and I don't need to evaluate any of this. It will all stay exact, okay? So here's the way I'm going to proceed. First, I'm going to work out what this angle is. It will be my bridge to get inside the triangle I'm after. Okay? So because there's so many triangles and so many angles, if you're going to use something like the cosine rule, you better tell me where you are. Okay, this is not the color I meant to use. So I'm going to say in triangle A, E, D. Okay? What I want to find is cos of that angle, A, E, D. This is actually a really important angle to the whole question. Uh, so I've noticed a lot of you have called it theta or alpha or whatever, that's fine. Um, AED is a common acronym to me because I think of automatic electronic defibrillators. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Less variables, the better. In this triangle, this is the angle I'm after, right? So what does the cosine rule tell me? Which sides do I use and how do I arrange them? You, you first need to work out the sides about the angle, and then you need to work out the side opposite the angle, right? You're going to get a squared plus b squared minus c squared, right? That, that 3 on the top is the opposite one. All divided by 2ab, which is 2, 3 times 4, okay? Up there on the numerator, you can see cancel, cancel. That looks to me like 16 all... 24, and that gives me two thirds. Okay, so this is cause of this angle that I'm interested in over here. Okay, now I could go ahead and I could do cos inverse if I wanted to. Okay, but there's no need. Remember, I noted when I was before I even started putting pen to paper, I said, Hey, I'm going to use the cosine rule eventually in here. So I'm going to need cause of an angle related to that one, in fact, cause of the supplement. Okay, so therefore, I'm going to work out what's happening in this new triangle, right? So I'm going to say uh, the angle inside the triangle I want is CED. What's its relationship to AED? Th those angles are up to 180 degrees, right? Because they're on a straight line. Um, in fact, I'm going to say pi because we're used to radians now and it's just faster, okay? Um, angles on a straight line. Here's my reasoning. So that's good. So what I want is just CED. I'm just going to make that the subject. So it's pi take away. Oops, like that. But remember, I'm about to use the cosine rule on this thing. So I need not that, but cos of that. So I want cos of this. 
Okay. Now, some of you I have seen have put in like cos inverse and that kind of thing, which is fine, but then you have to deal with domain and is cos, cos inverse of alpha equal to alpha? Well, it is sometimes, so long as you tell me why, okay? But I can avoid all of that. I don't need to introduce inverse tree to this at all. Cos of one side is cos of the other. Yes? Now, this, there's actually an identity here that you might remember from graphing. If you can't remember what that identity is, which in an exam, you're rushed, that's fine. Just think, well, it's, this is an A minus B. This is just a, an expansion, which I can do in my sleep. This is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Agree? Look, okay. this is a lovely line. I know it looks long, but I know what that is. I know what that is. I know what that is. I don't care what that is because that's zero, right? So cos of pi, cos of pi is negative one. I know what this is. It, I just evaluated it up here. And this guy over here is zero. Are you happy with that? So now I've got this guy, which I'm going to invoke when I do the cosine rule in the actual triangle I'm interested in. Okay. Right, we're almost there. So I'm changing triangles now, right? I'm using the cosine rule again, but I'm using it in this left-hand thinner triangle over here. So I'm going to say that, right? In triangle, what is it? CED? CED, right? Okay, what am I trying to find? And therefore, in what way should I write the cosine rule? CD. CD. I'm after CD. Sorry, that's not an equal sign. That should be a colon. Okay. So if it, being that I'm after CD, I'm going to write it in this CD squared equals... Okay, what happens over here? What am I going to get? Yeah, so I'm going to go 3 squared plus 2 squared minus 2, 3 times 2. And that angle, oh sorry, cos of that angle rather, which is minus 2 thirds. Okay, and then you can go ahead, you can crunch your numbers. You will get 21 over here on the right hand side. And of course, we only want the positive value. You happy? Did you see it fall out? So, yeah. if um, angle DEA is equal to angle B, would Angle DEA, oh, DEA, yeah, is equal to angle DBC. DBC, yeah. Can we just use cosine 2 operating at triangle BBC? So we in don't have to solve all the. C, in this one over here? Yes. Use the cosine rule? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean find this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. I feel like it would be a similar amount of work. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, one of the things about circuit geometry questions is there are many, many ways around the circle. So that's okay. As long as you get there. Um, one of the tricky things about this is that the result is given and it's a, it's a third. Okay? The thing that leaned me towards cosine rule rather than sine rule is that it was a square root. Did you notice that? When you see that square root there on a the length, you, you have to be one of two things, either Pythagoras or cosine rule, which is actually Pythagoras on steroids, right? Yeah. You guys have seen that before? Right? There's Pythagoras, there he is. Okay? But if your angle isn't pi or two, then your hypotenuse gets longer or shorter based on whatever your angle is. Okay? What is called pi or two, by the way? Think, think. Cos pi 2 is 0, which is why there's Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, does that make sense? 